Welcome to my channel. My name is Danny Walker. I'm a former title holder. I'm also a pageant coach and a pageant judge. And today I am bringing you a special little treat that I found. Recently, Paula Shugart shared this video on her Instagram account. And if you are not familiar, Paula Shugart is the president of the Miss Universe organization. And I'm assuming that this clip was actually meant for the broadcast. It looks like there were some boom mics there. Possibly they were filming this segment. Who knows, maybe it'll be there, maybe it won't, but I wanted to share it with you anyway, so I screen recorded it because this is giving you an insight into the interview room. And I talk to my clients about this, that we don't know exactly, all the time, what is being said to judges in a judge's orientation. Now, I have been through judging orientations for multiple organizations, and every single one of them I'm telling you is different in terms of what are they looking for or how they are instructing you how to score contestants. This is so important because this is gonna be a big determining factor for who is gonna make it into a semifinal or eventually be your next queen. I'm gonna roll this clip and then I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what she was talking about in just a minute. I'm looking for someone that uh, uh, that is comfortable in her own skin. This is, you are changing the life of one young woman forever. Almost anybody that's in this group can go on to become Miss Universe. I do believe it is someone's destiny and you together and collectively with your opinions and your votes uh, are going to come together to actually change, let a young woman fulfill her destiny. The person that you pick will be the face of our brand. And the job over the next few days will be to help us pick that top 16 that will become the face of our brand. Again, authenticity. When Miss Universe walks into the room, she has that intangible, compelling aura. And when she speaks to you, she holds your attention. She is a woman that has opinions. She is a woman that is comfortable in her skin. She is articulate. The first thing I want to address is the importance of authenticity that she was talking about. My goodness, I am telling you, when you are a judge, you can see right through a contestant. You can see if they're being themselves, if they're being that person that they are around their friends, or if they are putting on some sort of a show or that they have a wall up, it's really obvious in the way that they deliver their responses to you or sometimes in the response itself. And that is exactly why I created my own course for interview branding because a lot of contestants strategize for interviews and they think that practicing the answers to every question that they can find is going to help them or that even worse memorizing the answers to every question is going to help them and it's not it's not it's a really terrible strategy when you're preparing for your pageant interview because there's no way you can possibly prepare for every single question in the world and I will say this, in all the interviews that I had, yes, of course, you're practicing common interview questions, but not once did I ever walk into an interview and get the exact questions that I was preparing for. I may have gotten different versions of them, or I got completely unique questions that were based off of my paperwork that I submitted at the pageant, and those were actually my favorite ones because I could really share about myself. But it's really rare to get those exact questions unless it's gonna be something like, why should we select you as our next queen? That's a reasonable question to be asked. So it's so important to rely on your authenticity and to have a personal brand. And like I said, that is why I created Rehearsed to Relatable so that contestants can understand and know how to create their own personal brand in the interview room. So you're not relying on rehearsed answers or memorized answers. So you actually sound authentic. So if you guys wanna learn more about that, it's in the description below. You don't have to check it out. You don't have to take my word for it, but I'm telling you, if you ever see me on the other side of the judging table, judging a competition, it's gonna be something that I'm paying attention to. I'm looking for that authenticity that Paula Shugart was referring to. The other thing she was mentioning here was also about this aura of a title holder. And this aura, I know that some people call Call it the it factor and to a degree yes you can call it the it factor but for me really it comes down to confidence a woman who is going to be able to own the room and and know who she is and like paula said know what her opinions are and that's why it's so important to be introspective during your interview prep don't be looking to impress judges or 
look to give answers that you think that they want to hear. No, the answers that we want to hear are the ones that are most true to you. And that's very obvious in an interview. That's really the way that contestants should be going about their interview practice, as well as practicing good communication skills. And what does that look like, right? So that's going to incorporate body language. It's going to incorporate things like volume and pace and facial expression, all those different things are going to play a role in how you come across during an interview, which is why interview coaching can help a lot. Uh, that's one point. Now, the other thing that Paula Shugart mentioned in this video that I want to talk about, if you guys caught it, I don't know if you caught it. I think quite a few of you did, but she said that the judges were helping us to find the top 16, helping us. And that's that key phrase right there. That's that little, that little thing that they put at the beginning of all the pageants where they say that the new winner is selected by judges and members of the Miss Universe organization. Who is that exactly? Most definitely Paula, right? Paula. And who knows who else on the staff? I really like though that this video was released, even if it was for a telecast, at least she's giving the judges some sort of direction. And as you'll notice, she's not saying, of course, I mean, of course you wouldn't really say anything like this on social media, but she's not saying specific things like we're looking for a Miss Universe who's tall and stylish and fashionable and wears bright colors or, or any, anything silly like that or, or anything conspiracy theory that I hear from so many pageant contestants. And I think that that's what contestants kind of expect is being said behind the scenes. But whenever I have been judging, that's not what's said. Directors are not really specific on things like that have to do with the physical of a contestant. They're more specific on character qualities and what they believe that their ideal title holder should embody in terms of characteristics. So that's more of the guidance that you get typically in interviews. And guess what? There's some systems that give you no guidance at all. Yep. They just say, here's the paper to score it. Score on a scale of one to whatever and then submit that. That's it. So if you guys are confused by some results sometimes at pageants, it could be because the judges had no guidance. That is also something that happens. And you have to consider too, even when a director does give a judge's orientation, it's still gonna be up to the interpretation of a judge what they think that looks like. So if a director says, I want somebody that is relatable, the most common term, right? Relatable is going to look different for every single judge. I mean, there's probably going to be a few contestants, yes, that everybody could say, oh, she's relatable, but there's always those outliers. There's always those girls that one or two judges see as relatable that maybe the rest of the panel doesn't. And that is always going to affect a score. It's always going to affect an outcome. So I thought this video was really cool. I think that it's a nice sort of insider perspective on things and it's always worth talking about, especially with new pageant contestants. So ladies, you don't have any control over what is said to the judges and that judge's orientation. So don't think too much about it, but it is something to consider and to keep in mind during times when you may be confused at the outcome of a pageant. You have to think that maybe something was said to the judges that really caused them to search for something very different that was possibly very different from you. Or maybe you did win the pageant and you're like, how did I win the pageant? How did they not pick another girl? That could also be a scenario. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you'll come back for more. Thank you for joining me for it. And please be sure to subscribe share this with your friends and support the channel. And if you really want to support the channel even more, you guys can check out my merch store that's linked below as well. Thanks for joining me for this episode.